first and foremost, I want to give all glory, honors, and praises to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahusha, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone, teaching us truth time and time again, showing us be men, men of the Lord. The water Yahweh Bahashim Yahusha. This has been fighting with Satan. This is doing this video over and over again, but you know, stuff keeps saying it's keep I deleted everything and they keep saying, Oh, your video size is and I just deleted an 18 minute video. And then I did another 13. And it still keeps saying this, so you know how we just battle. But I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone, teaching this truth time and time again, showing us a man, man of the Lord, the Wadi Yah by Shimi Al Shah. I'm the brother Thaha Wam. And I want to start off this uh this uh, explaining uh, that prophecy is coming, the beginning of sorrows. So we're in a time that uh Esau Esau is moving. You see that the truth is coming out. And so now look at it. The Ukraine, uh, the U.S. troops are dropping into uh, the Ukraine. It was an uh, Air Force, Special Forces. Uh, brother did a lesson on it. And um, it's like one of the infrared one that hasn't been, uh, hasn't been used since World War II. Yeah, Satan is trying super hard. Let me move real quick. So, where was I? So, so you see that, uh, and then also the fuel shortage. They just did a, a, a thing on that we have like a, a less than a month left of diesel fuel, which the diesel fuel is the backbone of our uh, our uh, society. Diesel fuel is a uh, like for the U.S. currency and U.S. Uh, uh, economy. Diesel is uh, needed for. Uh, For uh, for our, our our economy, because uh, we have a petrol dollar, so based on like how good the petrol mean uh, fuel is, and that countries need to buy fuel through our currency. Russia did that. That's why America's mad. But Russia was always going to do uh, they, they change it to like the ruble. But uh, also everything you have in this society, like for the United States, is based off of it because our our our, our um. Every warehouse, every grocery store, uh, like you see that if you work at a warehouse, basically diesel fuel is bringing every item you have to that warehouse. So if that shortage, because the, the, our trucks work, those trucks work on diesel. So now you can't, um, you can't even uh fucking, you can't even uh go and work. So there's gonna be no jobs, and that's what um. The scriptures say, um, so let me get a scripture and then explain it a little bit more. This is Ezekiel chapter, I mean, slot here, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 3. And in the day, in the day when the keeper of the house shall tremble, and the strong male shall bow themselves, and the grinders shall cease because they are few, the, and those that look out of the window be darkened, and at the door shall it be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low, and he shall rise up at the verse of the void, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Because but the grinders shall cease. Everything that is, you won't see people out. Because if you're not a job waiter, people won't have any money. So they're not going to be having in this Murph thing. And you would think, oh, there's put in this, uh, they're going to put our, uh, uh, the trucks, they have electric vehicles. Well, that's a strain on our, uh, 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 that's going to be a strain on our uh, grid. That's going to be a strain on our grid because uh, fuel, most of our uh, grid or thing is run off of diesel fuel. And then even when, like, when stuff gets lower for emergencies, even the start of, like, a wind turbine, they always have uh, diesel fuel on the side or even any fuel because that. 
and electric vehicles don't run the way. First of all, it's a strenuous on our grid to charge electric vehicle. And I know people that have it. When you go up a hill, it drains the battery and it takes a very long time to charge it, like half a day a day. I'm not sure, but they said it takes a very long time and is and is draining that. You see, California's grid almost shut down because of the heat. So imagine the heat and that all the vehicles don't have to be charged on that. Uh, W7 just did a video on it. And so more people, so if you work in a warehouse or you work on anything, grocery store, all, all, all these jobs that have that manual labor takes, uh, takes fuel of the items to bring there. So let me get a scripture. Wrote a couple down, but this is Zeke, I mean, this is Isaiah chapter 19. Verse 15, but I'm going to say 14. So uh, I'm going to start at 14. The Lord has mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt to err, which is the modern day Egypt is America. But the Lord put this spirit on it. Like, you see, everyone's just defiled, everyone's selfish, everyone is just about themselves. And even though the, the government, they're just doing dumb things. So, they're just doing just stuff that is not make sense because they're in straits trying to blow up the moon, trying to darken the sun, which like you need the sun to live. Every, everything, your food is just how you get energy is just a byproduct from the sun. So the animals eat the plants, they decide all of that just taking of energy and that all that energy comes from the sun. All the fruit you get, they get energy from the sun. So it's kind of retarded. So the, that Egypt show uh, in every work thereof as a drunken man staggered environment. Like, you know, you start not making very uh, good sense when you're drunk. So that's what Egypt, they're just doing America, the Babylon, the Great. Neither shall there be any work for Egypt. So they're going to say global warming. But if they take the fuel system off, if you take, if you let the, uh, if you let fuel uh, diesel and try to change the grid to alert, then you have to find a way to uh, make the grid stronger, and then it's just going to end up being worse. So that's what it is. So now, head and tail, branch and bush, may in the day, Salakia. Oh, Salakia, I missed a part. Neither shall there be any work for Egypt. So nobody's going to have work, and that's going to make people mad because now they can't eat, and that's how the uh, the daughters of music should be brought low. Now, you're not going to be part of the, Nobody has money, and that's when people are going to fight. So that's when the, the, it's already started, but it's going to be even more. So in Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 18, the beginning of sorrows and great mornings, the beginning of famine and great death, People be starving to death, killing each other, robbing each, robbing each other. The love of many shall wax cold. But the beginning of sorrows is uh, when uh, Yahweh spoke of this in um, uh, Matthew's the twenty fourth chapter. But I get that a little bit later. The beginning of wars. You see what, what's happening in Russia, which is prophetic, uh, is in the United States, and the United States is going to lose the war. It's just going to happen. Is they're going to do something that has all the nations get mad. So this is probably bringing it out, helping it. I know the least of the flock show, but it's Israel. But Israel is, uh, they're fighting and saying all these anti-Semitic, which that's what they're airing in all their ways. Because like now Israel is trying to fight saying this, which is bringing out even more truth. You can't do nothing for the truth, but for it. So now people are like, oh, shoot. What are they talking about? And they're going to look it up and it's going to bring things. A beginning of wars, of powers, shall stand in great fear and they're in fear. And beginning of evils, what shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, famine and plagues, tribulation, anger, and also is, are sent as a scores for amendment. So why, like, you're asking, why is all this stuff happening? The Lord said that these are scores for amendment. So people, to, uh, his people to uh, repent. And to know what time we're in it, because this is what he said. The second address, chapter 9, verse 7. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest parts of the sign pass, which I have told thee before, then shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he has made. 
So when you see all these times, it's like, oh man, all this stuff's happening. What should I do? What should I do? Said measure it. Like, it's coming. The, the day of the Lord is coming, which when he shall see earthquakes and uproars of the people, look what's happening in France. Look what's happening in France. They're fighting a war, war, all over uh, all over the world, other than America. Was that's why they said they're, they're the softest people. They're 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 just in the letter and they're just taking it down. They're just taking it, especially our people, just sitting out. Some of these Edomites are rallying up, but most of uh, most of Babylon the Great was like, oh, let, I'm not gonna pay high price. But in other countries, because they're more manly than them, they said fuck that. They're, so they're fighting uproar and rare, and then shall they well understand, verse 4, then shall they well understand that the Most High spoke of these things from the days where the, before they even from the beginning. For like all these that are made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. And what are they talking about when this list, um, the end, um, how we know. Wow, this is a uh, second Ezra chapter six. Because the Lord spoken in Isaiah, all this stuff. He said his his counsel so not stand not void. But look at this second Ezra chapter six, verse seven. Then I answered and I said, What shall be the part in the sunder of times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of them that follow? So when are these empires on end? We only had Egypt, Mia, we only had uh the Holy Land for a, a very short time. You gotta understand, like, very, very short. 40 years of peace with Solomon, and then David took it, but we really didn't really have it like that. So uh, it was a scripture that says, we only have uh, possessed uh, the churches for a very little while. I butchered him, but, you know. But he's saying, when can it, uh, when is it going to the end be first? There, the Esau's empire be ended, or the uh, heathen, basically all the heathen empire, the statues, um, the statue, the ending, and we be in the beginning of the fall. And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob, Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob held the hill first. Me held first the hill of Esau. So even when he was talking to Rebecca, he said the stronger, I mean the younger shall be um, stronger, or one of the brothers shall be stronger, and that it was always going to give to uh, Jacob. Let me see. Yeah, it's still running. Uh, Satan just been fucking this video. I mean, he just, but well, maybe the Lord wanted me to do it at this time, so you got to put that in count. For Esau is in, I mean, Esau is the end of the world, and that's not I mean, the end of the age. That's what that word, the end of the age. If his empire is going, this heathen rulership is going on, and it's going to be, it's going to go down. And uh, Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. And the hand of, and hand of man, and Jacob is the so-called, Esau is the so-called white man, and Jacob is uh, so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, if you didn't uh, know. And the hand of man betwits the hill of the hand and other crescent. So, so what is it? It's like, I'm going to go back. So, we're, we're going through all these things. Uh, go back to 2nd Ezra chapter 9. Even so, the time also the highest have... Plain beginnings and wonders and powerful words and ending effects and signs. So, like, I want to get one scripture. Because you were saying, like, we're going through all this and it's horrible. But it's not really because it's just showing us that we have to see evil. So, the Jacob Esau was a carnal kingdom, but what's coming is a special kingdom. So, this is Second Ezra chapter 7, verse 42 and he answered me and said the present life is not the end where much glory do abide so we're not getting glory this is this was the heathens empire this was the the, the, uh, the golden the, the statues with all different metals daniel's vision but it's not much glory because yahweh by shemel shai yahweh shai has to get his glory first yahweh and then yahweh shai this is for their words so it's not much glory to abide it was just a, a, a tutorial for us. Therefore have thy prayed for the weak, but the day of doom shall be 
the end of this time. The day of doom shall be the end. So if you're wondering, well, what is the, uh, so the beginning is to be the day of doom. When the Lord comes and visits this place and comes and brings his son, who's going to come on a cloud, which is the chariots, if you didn't understand, uh, and those so-called UFOs, and and come and visit this place, dropping third IBC, I intercontinental ballistic missiles, so ICBMs, on this place and destroy it. So, and that's the that's the damn do shall be the end of this time and the beginning of immortality for it to come, wherefore corruption shall pass. So what immortality? Well, that was the Lord's plan for all. So look at his wisdom of Solomon chapter two, verse twenty-three. For I'm gonna start at twenty-two because I like it, but is a little bit off the point. But the point is in twenty-three. This is Second Ezra chapter two verse twenty two. As for the mysteries of God, they knew them not, neither hope they they for the wages of righteousness, because we were the wages of wickedness of sin. And you know what that is? Death. Death. Wages of sin is death. But the wages of righteousness nor discern a award for the blameless soul. And you know what that is? That's immortality. Because this was the God. For God created man to be immortal and made him to be an image of his own eternity. That's what he created man. But nevertheless, through the envy of the devil came death onto the world. And they that do hold of this side do find it. That's what happened. So the envy of the devil, which was so-called Esau, is a... Uh, uh, when the serpent beguiled Eve, the spirit of Cain came, and uh, he uh, was envious on because a uh, Abram, I mean, yeah, I think it's not a Abel had a more righteous uh, 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 thing, and he got the blessing. I mean, he got, and then Esau was uh, rejected, and because it's the same, the same spirit come, and Jacob got the blessing, but uh. He, uh, the serpent beguiled Eve, and through the woman, that's why they said, through the woman, we all die. But, um, Salakia, so we go. And that's what death came. And, um, so th that all is going to pass. The corruption and death is going to pass, and we're going to be immortal, like the Lord intended. Intemperance is at the end. Infidelity, which is like, um, unbelief and all this stuff will be gone. Righteousness is grown and truth is sprung up. Then shall no man be able to save him that is destroyed nor to oppress him that have got the victory. So then no man is going to be able to, so you're not going to be able to save no Edomite. You're not going to save the wicked or our stuff. Go so hand in hand, the wicked shall be. So you see all these people coming. Israel is, is 